What's to you too, fam? It's your girl CK, and I'm out here car vlogging as a usual. Stop playing. Y'all know y'all friend is hella busy, so I have to make these videos on the go, period. And with that being noted, I want you guys to know that earlier today, I was, I got online, and I'm like, oh my gosh, y'all, a bank crash. Silicon Valley Bay SVB. They crashed within 48 hours. Oh my gosh, I could not believe it. I was telling y'all the tea. I was talking about like, you know, people were getting incentives, pay raises, and all of a sudden they get to work and it's like, boom. It's nothing to come to work to. Are you fudging serious? Are you, is this reality? Is this the world that we are living in in uh, 2023 that, you know, a bank can crash, the employees have no idea, they come into work and there's no work to come to. It's all, it's ludicrous. It's BS. Anyhow, fast forward. We're going fast forward just a tad bit. Guess who's talking about buying Silicon Valley Bay? Guess who already said, you know what? I'll put my down payment on it. You know, especially if it can be an electronic bank. Guess who? Like, I know y'all know who. Like, come on, stop playing. Stop playing. I'll give you a moment. All right, the moment is up. I want you guys to know, Elon Musk, he actually was like, you know what? I will buy Silicon Valley Bank. Now, my question to you is, what is you? What is it giving when you hear that Elon Musk, one of the richest men in the world, was talking about buying Silicon Valley Bank? You know what I'm saying? What do you think about it? You, he's been very successful. He's a very successful on, entrepreneur, number uno. He has Tesla. He helped um, jumpstart, oh, PayPal. That's what he helped jumpstart. He helped jumpstart PayPal. He has SpaceX. He's on Twitter. You know, this man is fudging known and I'm here for it. But my question to you is, are you here for? Are you here for all the things that Elon Musk will be bringing if he takes on Silicon Valley Bank? If he does decide to, he may start like he is with uh, Twitter. Uh, I don't know if you realized it, but with Twitter, he, Elon got on there and was like, you know what? People got to go. People were fired immediately. People were be, being canceled. People with disabilities. It wasn't sure if they were going to have jobs. You know, there's been a lot of things that's been reported regarding Elon Musk. Elon Musk with like how he's treating employees. It seems like he, you know, he's a hard worker. That's number uno. You know, I'm not going to say that because he has to be he's very successful but I, I just i just don't know what do you guys think you have to let me know honestly i mean my coin ain't at that limit yet you know maybe one day it will be but as of now no but i just i don't know like you're gonna have to let me know what do you think about mr elon musk you know his personality his characters is he the type of person that you can see running an institution like a bank? Can you see him running not only an uh, institution like a bank, but an electronic bank at that? Is that possible? Is it plausible? Would you go for it? Is that the type of business that we're going into uh, when it comes to 2023? Is this the world that we're living in that now when it comes to banking we want to do everything electronic now i don't know you gonna have to let me know how you guys are feeling out here uh with mr elon musk again he's very successful he's like i think he's like number two like if he's not number one he's definitely number two one of the the second most richest man in the world i think the first man he's more into like retail and um, Louis Vuitton. I can't. I think he's a French guy. He's the um, the most successful man in the world. I think I did a video on Elon Musk and him. So if you are interested, you can definitely check out that video. But today, my question to you is: What do you think about Elon Musk taking on SVB, that Silicon Valley Bank? Do you see it happening? I would love to see how you guys feel about this whole situation. It's giving interesting. Um, it's giving a situation I would never think would happen. It's giving I can't believe a bank crashed in 48 hours and the FDC had to take on that responsibility. That's what it's giving to me. And with that being noted, I am about to get offline because I'm about to start driving soon. 
so you guys can definitely reach out to me on my community tab i'm always posting up there if not on my community tab i'm on instagram y'all know y'all can find your girl on insta stop playing with your good sis and my insta is tk k-n-o-w-l-e-s zero one so you can add me on instagram so i know it's a real purple um yeah so with that being noted i want you guys to know it is so imperative for you guys to be out here paying attention to laws rules regulations policies and procedures because you don't know what's going to impact you how it's going to affect your life in real time in reality that is what we need to be paying attention to facts y'all policies procedures don't let somebody just tell you something research know what you're getting yourself into it is so imperative because you may be advocating for something and then realize oh shit this person is a whole fraud out here in these streets so know your rights your rules your regulations that's all i'm trying to say and with that being noted i am fixed to go peace love and happiness bye